Okay, halfway around the trail, it's the 11th of October 2018, a walk 80. I've been kind of barefoot for about the last half, 25 minutes or so. Um, anybody who's used to seeing, just doing my usual trail, nothing remotely exciting. But okay, here we are, walk 80. Well, I should have done a couple of weeks ago, be a bar on the weather and so on, but uh, a wee bit of lethargy, no, no doubt, sickness. So, 11 days behind, however. Still got a few targets. It's amazingly clammy for October. You can look in, down, to, down into the valley, it's looking around, you can definitely see this haze surrounding the, the area. Even looking over towards Arthur's Seat. You can just make it Arthur's seat. Um, <coughs> as ever, it's nice to be barefoot, and as ever, it just so far there's not been any dog walkers. I've just had to take a couple phone calls. Uh, phone call, hence why I'm a wee bit later uh, in doing this. The gr uh, terrain round about here at the moment it's still a bit stony until everything. Uh, gets trampled in. You can still see big stone there, which would have been hellish. I know where it's waiting to happen. But you can still see bit of stones dredging up because we're on the south end of this field. Um, in time, these will get trampled down. Everything will get trampled down as the in the cold way and the weather progresses. It's mild wind, but it's just one of those really. Uh, it's one of those uh, very mild October days, surprisingly. Not dissimilar to where I did the first couple of walks. I suppose even just by doing this one walk, it means that I've done as much as what I did by the end of last year. Uh, only difference is I want to get another 20 in before the end of the year. <laughs> I get a long answer. your feet. It doesn't matter how fast or slow you're walking. It's just nice to feel like. Um, and the funny thing is, the more you do this, the less likely you are to really notice. I don't notice the temperature so much. I mean, even on the cold days, I've once I'm warmed up, I'm fine. Um, but on days like this, it's just all about the textures under the foot, and that's quite nice.
suppose I'm not really talking much, partly because I don't really have much to say. All is just, I think sometimes it's just a pleasure of the walk. Um, and here we are in what we know is a field of hay. And it's all relatively quiet. Underfoot, it's all. Uh, I think we're due a lot of rain in the next few days. Storm Callum is going to be headed our way. In the next few hours, we're going to. Uh, tomorrow, I believe we're going to be hit by 40 mile an hour winds again. Uh, as you can see from this, these fields, I mean, that hedgerow is basically leaves us completely exposed. Um, and those trees don't really do much to cover you, cover you a little bit, but hedge roll against 40 mile an hour winds is just, it's not worth it. However, I'll try and sneak out, I'll try and go a bit earlier. Um, I've got a dog walker coming up ahead. Oh shit. Well, it's only one of them. Where's that horse rider? It's a horse rider. Oh well, I'll step out of the way. I'm getting stung in the process. Oh, carry on. I suppose the one good thing about um, horses' footprints is that they do uh, I turn the ground up, making that a bit softer, flatten things down a lot, and I can just feel the first little bit of rain, uh, even though I've got my body stung by a nail just there, I feel it in my ankle. She might have prevented it, but I still would have got stung. Might have still got stung. 